Welcome to Conversations at the Kitchen Table. And for those who haven't caught this before, um, this is going to be an overview of the tracks of the album, Go South in the Winter. And we're going to go through each one in turn briefly. Uh, the first one is Stari Most. Yes, yeah, Stari Most translates as the old bridge. And I've spoken about this before, but um, it is very much the heart and soul of Bosnia, uh, and what it means to me, and the division of people and the complexities. Okay, and that moves on to Kazamat. Kazamat translates as fortified house, and it is about two lovers, um, and they're young and they're in love, but they also love with the notion of love itself. And for some reason they cannot be together, but they overcome this. Okay, the next one is Winter Rose. Winter Rose is about overcoming loss and it's just a stellar composition. It's something like you would hear in Captain Corelli's Mandolin. Mm. And the title track is Go South in the Winter. Go South in the Winter, it's about travel, I suppose, um, finding a safer place to be and also finding togetherness again. Okay. Ila de Verano, Summer Island. Summer Island, um, it's got a great party feel. A lot of people compare this piece to Tamakun by Rodrigo and Gabriela. Um, I don't think it's that similar, but it has a great start and a great vibe. Mm -hmm. Brue de Montpellier. Brue de Montpellier is a solo piece, uh, very lyrical, very, very melodic. Um, a little jam, a one minute jam. Great. Chasse de Papillon, Butterfly Chase. Chasse de Papillon, um, or Butterfly Chase, um, is the only vocal track on the album. Um, I wrote this when I was 23, and um, it's just really innocent, playful, and it features a great German singer songwriter, uh, Jorinde Weimann, mm. um, who I'm sure everybody will hear a lot more of. She's just very young and very, very talented. Un rio entre, a river between. Uh, this was co-composed with Ramon, as was actually Summer Island, um, which I forgot to mention actually. Um, a beautiful melody, um, great chord structure, um, you know, well kind of structured piece, and I'd say uh, Ramon's improvisations in the second half just take you to the heart of Spain. It's just very beautiful. Right. Next one is from El Tiempo Vuela, Time Flies. Yes, uh, Time Flies, um, it's just very timeless, classic, um, you know, we originally entitled this as jazzy track, it just sounded slightly jazzy, slightly cool, um, it can take you kind of back to the 1950s, 1960s, kind of cafe culture and there's a contemporary feel to it as well, um, really enjoyable and again it was good with you, um, I like most of my other compositions which were kind of arranged and um, played on, but um, this was quite between, between the two of us. Okay, moves on to uh, Van Zan. Van Zan pays tribute uh, to the great folk legend, um, Tans Van Zandt, um, who you were a big fan of actually. Yeah, still am. Still are, and I am as well. Um, I think he had great compositions. One song of his in particular, the Tower Song, um, had a very beautiful texture, really nice kind of introduction, and um, I just kind of wanted a texture, a song with a texture like that. Um, I was very, very blessed that this beautiful melody came to me and that I could actually develop it further. Okay. Enziel, a great title and a great simple chord structure. That's right, Enziel um, is very much inspired by a jam that we had together. <laughs> Uh, where you played four chords and I came up with a melody and the melody was good enough. The chords, yes, well, they never developed, but they were good. And like, very simple, unassuming, unobtrusive presence. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and December song. December song, um, I don't know, it's just like experiencing life anew again, or experiencing something in life um, anew. Um, and then there is a great 
sort of sense of maturity within about two minutes into it. I'm, I'm sure women won't appreciate this when I say <laughs> that he brings maturity. But <laughs> his solo definitely, um, you know, conjures up, I don't know, like a synopsis of having lived, etc. before you go away into this kind of transcendent kind of quality. Mm. Would you say? Would you agree? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, exactly, maturity. <laughs> okay, and uh, Winter Minx? Winter Minx, it's the final track on the album before the bonus tracks. Um, and it just kind of sums up the good feel uh, of the album. It's a great feel album. I'm just really, really proud of it. Um, I just really pray that this sort of stream of writing and composing and recording continues for a long time to come. All right, well, that brings us to an end in terms of conversations at the kitchen table. Until next album. Until the next album. I think we need to keep chatting about something or other. Yeah, Perhaps the ebook. Oh, Shall yeah. we introduce the ebook? Yes. Now, the ebook itself is called uh, Beyond the Gated Chill Park. Um, so that's coming out pretty much very similar time as the album. Hot on the heels. Hot on the heels. Ten paintings, ten poems, ten tracks. Could it get better than that? I think so. No. <laughs>